Hi, good morning, it's Gareth from Big Game Bikes. This is a Rad Power Bike Rad Rhino, or in North America, a Rad Rover. Today we're gonna to fit some hydraulic brakes and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Let's go. So the tools that we're gonna need for this job pretty much came in the tool bag that came with your bike. Specifically, we're gonna need some wire cutters to cut all of the cable ties. We're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver, an eight millimeter spanner, and a five millimeter Allen key. Let's start with the calipers at the back and at the front. Okay, so here we are at the rear caliper. There's a nut just over there. Let's undo that. There's another nut over there and another nut over there. Pay very close attention to the washers that are in there. They're going to go back onto your bicycle in the same order that they came off. Let's get these done. There's a small washer inside here, a little plastic rubber washer holding all of this in place. Just give the nut a push, off they come. There's a small metal cable clip on the end. Just get your cutters and cut it off. Caliper off, perfect. Now to the front wheel, same as before. There's a nut up here, there's a nut down here. We don't have to undo this nut. Just pay close attention again to the washers. They need to go back onto the bicycle in the same order they came off. Caliper off. There is also this adapter. It's very important that this adapter goes back onto your bicycle in the same way that it came off. My suggestion would be to take the adapter and put it back on just so that you don't forget which way it came off. Now from your rear brake line, there are some cable ties all along the bicycle. Let's cut those. In the front of your bicycle, just here, is another bolt. Let's get our Allen key and undo that. Okay, so now it's time to fit our new hydraulic brake to the back of the bicycle, okay? There's an adapter on here. We'll need to take that off. And that's it, we've removed the adapter. Now we're ready to install the rear caliper back on. There's a safety spacer. We can now remove that. Get your nut, make sure that the washers are in the same order going on that they were when you took them off. So we've tightened these two bolts, not completely tight. There's still some play in this caliper and that's great because we'll need to adjust them in a moment. Now take your brake line and feed it back through the bicycle. This is the brake hose from your old brake. This is the end of the brake from your new brake. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect them together like this with some trusty masking tape. Okay, and we're all done. We've taped this up. Just underneath here is a little rubber grommet you might be able to pull it out with your hand. If not, just get some pliers. Now we can feed this wire through the frame. Up at the top here, there's a little rubber grommet. Pop that out and then continue feeding the brake line through. And that's it, it's out. Now just feed it all the way through and we're done with the rear. Now it's time to fit the front caliper. We will not need the adapter that's come with, so let's remove that. So we've removed that front adapter, which is great. Now we can remove these two bolts and put the new caliper back on. Inside the front brake is the safety spacer. Let's remove that. Adapter is back on, first bolt is in. Same as before. Make sure the caliper is loose because we'll adjust that in a moment. Okay, for the next job, we need to remove 
the handlebar grips. They're called friction grips because they're held in place with friction. So what you need to do is just twist them and pull with a great deal of brute force, basically, to get those off. So on this particular build, we won't be putting the rad grips back on. The customer has decided to replace the grips and replace the throttle. So I'll, the, the rest of the process is exactly the same. We're gonna take the grips off, we're gonna take the brake levers off, we're gonna put the new brake levers on, but instead of putting our rad grips back on, we'll be putting these grips back on. We've removed our grips. Underneath the brake is a nut. Get in there, undo that. There's a little cable over here, disconnect that. And that's the front brake off. On this side of the bicycle, we need to take the throttle off. There's a little Allen bolt underneath. Get your wire cutters and remove any cable ties. Brake lever, there's a nut underneath. Remove the connections. Throttle off, brake off. On the right hand side, insert the brake lever in an upright position like this and tighten that. I'll explain why we're doing it like this in a moment. And on the other side, brake lever goes on, grip goes on, or you'd be putting your rad grip on. Now elevate the brake lever to a position so that it's almost vertical and do this up tight. There we go. It doesn't have to be crazy tight. It just has to be tight to keep it in an upright position. Okay, now we are going to attach the brake hose to the brake lever. If you bought the pre-assembled brakes from me, this is the part that is pre-assembled. Equally, if you brought the pre-assembled brakes, you will not be able to feed the hose through your frame because it'll be connected to this lever. So these are the assembly required brakes and this is the assembly required part. Inside the bag came three fittings. You need to put on the end cover first, then the locking nut, then the little brush washer. We're gonna lift the bicycle into a vertical position. In our back pocket, we've got our Phillips screwdriver, our star screwdriver and our eight millimeter spanner. With our eight millimeter spanner, we're going to undo this nut. And with our Phillips screwdriver, we're going to undo this screw that's in the end. You only need to undo the screw just a smidge because then you can undo it by hand. Now we're ready to undo this screw. And once we undo this screw, in one movement, we're going to insert this hose into the brake lever. These brakes come pre-filled with mineral oil. So if you get this right, you shouldn't have to bleed your brakes. Bolt comes out. We insert this, you can feel a little click. That's it. And now we can proceed to tighten this up. That's connected. We can slide the end cap on and we can repeat this process with our left hand brake. And now we're ready to get everything in position properly. And once we're happy with how everything is, we can go ahead and tighten up all of the Allen keys. Don't forget at this stage to get all of your wires, match them up red with red and get everything connected. So the last job we need to do now is we need to tighten these bolts. Remember we left this loose. And pull your brake lever. That's gonna cause the brake pads to grab onto the disc rotor and align our caliper. That's it. And now our brake is adjusted. Let's repeat the process with the rear brake. On our rear caliper, that's still loose. Up on the handlebar, apply pressure to the brake lever to cause the brake pads to grab onto the disc rotor to align our caliper. That is it, done. This caliper is nice and aligned, secure, 
and ready to go. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I really hope that it shows you just how easy it is to upgrade your Rad Rhino or your Rad Rover to hydraulic brakes. The only job left to do now is go along and replace all of the cable ties that we took off of the bicycle. Don't forget to put the bolt back up there, tidy up the rest of the cable ties. It's a really easy job. It's definitely a critical upgrade as far as I'm concerned. E-bikes are heavy. They travel at higher average speeds than normal bicycles. You know, it's, it's a wise choice to make. And if you opt to go for the hydraulic brakes that can be fed through your frame, I'll link a video that'll show you in close-up detail just how easy it is to connect the hoses to your brake levers. And if you decide that you want the easy life, you can easily cable tie the hose to the outside of your frame and not have to do what we were doing up at the handlebars connecting them. If you found this video handy, hit the subscribe button. Have a look in the description below for more information about our Facebook pages and our website and what have you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.